everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to the Build Guide for Kay's Spectre Summoner, base build for 3.11 Harvest League. The base build is designed for League Start and Solo Self Found. It can take you all the way from fresh start to end game and even 40 challenges. It is completely made from rare items that you can pick up or self craft. There are no uniques needed for this build. The passive tree, equipment, and gem choices give a balance of tankiness and DPS. It's not a glass cannon build, and it will work even in hardcore solo self found. And there is a lot of space to do your own customization. The build is also very flexible, and you will only need to swap a few gems if you want to change spectres. For example, from Slave Driver to Redemption Sentry. There are also two build options, Pure Spectres and Spectres and Spiders, which provide further upgrade paths. However, they are built around key uniques, which may be difficult to get in solo self-found. These build options are covered in their own build guide videos. Finally, please have a look at the full guide on the official forum. You can find the crafting guide, spectre guide, and a full leveling guide. Other players also give their tweaks, tricks, and build customization. And of course feel free to ask questions too. In this guide I will talk about how the build works, how to summon spectres, how to play the build, the passives, ascendancy and pantheon, equipment, gems and links, and lastly a brief overview on leveling. As a summoner, your minions do all the hard work. And as a spectre summoner, the main damage dealers are the spectres of monsters that you have killed. The base build is very flexible and you can change spectres by swapping a few gems. The recommended spectres are 1. Solar Guard, which is fire based, has good damage and high amount of life. It is found in Act 8, Solaris Temple. Two. Redemption Sentry, which is coal based, has high damage but slow attack speed and extremely high amount of life. It is only available in special map encounters. 3. Slave Driver, which is lightning based, has very high damage but also very low life. It is found in Act 5 Control Blocks. There are also many more interesting spectres, each with their strengths and weaknesses. You can find more information about them on the forum guide. The build also uses its own bees and stone golem to provide buffs, debuffs, extra DPS, and life regen. The build has several defensive layers. 1. The minions are your meat shield. Incoming attacks will hit them before they hit you. 2. A large life pool means you can take a hit and not instantly die. 3. Good amount of block and life recovery on block. 4. Dread banner reduces enemy accuracy so they can't hit you. 5. You can focus on using defensive flasks because the minions do the DPS. 6. Minions can blind and taunt monsters if you have the right Ghastly Eye Jewels. To summon a spectre, go to the correct place for the spectre you want. Then, cast the secret to create corpses. Next, you need to have raised spectre on your cast bar. If you have spell echo, take it out. Now put the mouse over a corpse and hold the corpse target key, which should be A. You will see the name of the corpse. Cast raise spectre when you find the right one. Take your time with this step, so you don't accidentally raise the wrong spectre. Sometimes you won't find what you want and you will need to cast the secret again.
Nothing is very simple. You can take it easy or you can zoom through the map. Cast convocation to bring your minions to you if they fall behind or if they are in danger. You can direct your minions by attacking monsters with the brown spell. Remember to use flame dust to get out of danger or to jump across terrain features. If you set steel skin to your left mouse button and set always attack without moving, it will auto cast while you are moving as soon as the cooldown is finished. This will also proc trigger if you have it crafted on your wand. For bossing, prepare by casting the brown on the ground before pulling aggro. The brown will attach to the boss and proc EE and curse. You also need to cast Deathmark on the boss. This forces your specters to keep attacking and you will be able to move away and even off screen kill the boss. The passive tree is balanced between increased life and minion damage with some extra block chance. There are also a number of interesting notables, as well as things like more life, damage or block passives close to the passive tree for your own customization. The passive tree also passes close to two outer jewel sockets. They can be used for cluster jewels, which I will cover in the guise for pure spectres and spectres and spiders. For the ascendancies, a natural strength is the most important because the raised spectre gem gives one spectre from gem level 1 to 12, two spectres at 13 to 24, and three spectres at gem level 25 plus. So the plus two levels will help you get the extra spectre as well as increase in damage and life of all your minions. Next is Mistress of Sacrifice. This makes your offering skills apply to your necro. For example, Bone Offering will give you extra block chance in life recovery. Lastly, Commander of Darkness gives a nice boost to damage and elemental resist. Each of the Pantheons have their uses, so I recommend changing it depending on what you are doing. Lunaris is good for mapping. Solaris is good for bossing, and Alkari might help with the Cyrus fight. All the minor gods are useful for different things, but generally I like to keep mine on Shakari to reduce chaos damage. Overall, the priority is to get the highest life mods on all the items. After that, make sure your elemental res is 75% and get as much chaos res as possible. Then you can look for this specific mods. For your weapon, you want a one hander with minion damage. There are three options, you can use an essence of fear to craft a cheap wand. Level 3 hybrid chamber in the temple can drop a wand with double damage. Or you can fossil craft a convoking wand. In this open suffix to craft trigger a socketed spell and one green and two blue sockets. For your shield, extra block chance, especially spell block is helpful. Shaper or Warlord influence gives the special mod recover 5% life when you block. It needs one blue and two red sockets. For your helmet, any base is okay, but bone helmet is the best option. The support minions will be socketed in the helmet, so look for or craft plus 2 or plus 3 minion gem level. Elder Influence gives the special mod Minion Life. It needs one red and three blue sockets. The body armor is where you will socket red specter. I recommend using an int base for easy coloring. Hybrid base is okay, but you should avoid dex or strength bases. Start with a 5 link or 6 link base and use an essence of greed. 
Later, try to get a body with plus one spectre number. It is a drop only item from Delve and comes from the special encounter with contains minion or aura items. It is not guaranteed drop though. It needs an open prefix to craft increased life. The socket colors depends on the spectre. The common colors are 6 blue, 5 blue, 1 green, or 3 blue, 1 red, 2 green. In space gloves are recommended because it needs 4 blue sockets. In strength 2 tone boots are recommended for easy coloring. To get the plus 1 spectre gem mod, you need elder influence. You can then craft with bond fossils. It needs 2 red and 2 blue sockets. Citrine amulet is recommended for dex requirements but any base is fine. To min max the passive tree, anoint your amulet with death attunement using clear, crimson and silver oils. You will need Hunter Influence for plus 1 to all int gem. For rings, I recommend Vermilion rings. Coral is the next best. Estesian Vice lets you socket a ghastly eye for more stats, but well rolled leather belt is almost as good. For the ghastly eye jewels, look for Taunt and Blind. This will add more defensive layers. Of course, damage and attack speed is always helpful. I recommend the following flasks. Bubbling Eternal Life of Stone Chin for instant life recovery and bleed removal. Bustle's Flask of Warding for fuse damage reduction and removing curses. Quicksilver Flask of Adrenaline for big speed boost. Jade Flask of Reflexes for Evasion Quartz Flask of Heat to give phasing, dodge and remove freeze In the body, the four main gems are Race Spectre, Minion Damage, Death Mark, Early focus. For solar girls, use spell echo and GMP. If you need more DPS, swap GMP with Honk effect. If you don't want to swap at all, just use MMP. For slave drivers, use spell echo and controlled destruction. Honk effect will give more DPS, but greatly reduces their range. For redemption sentries, use elemental damage and GMP. If you need more DPS, swap GMP with vicious projectiles. If you don't want to swap at all, just use LMP. Note that for sentries, if you can give them power charges, use hypo instead of elemental focus so they can freeze monsters. In the wand, Desecrate, Bone Offering, Summon Skeleton. If you have Trigger Craft, this will outcast. Bone Summon Skeleton is good for body blocking in boss fights. If you don't need the extra block from Bone Offering, you can use Flesh Offering to boost DPS. In the Shield, Steel Skin, Increased Duration, Convocation. Remember, you can set steel skin as left mouse button with always attack without moving, so it will outcast on cooldown. In the helmet, stone golem, zombies, feeding frenzy, elemental army. In the boots, skitterbots, dread banner, generosity. Link a different aura depending on your spectre. Zealotry for solar girls. Hatred for redemption sentries. Or wrath for slave drivers. In the gloves, brand, flame dash, curse on heat, 
Elemental Weakness. Use armor brand for slave drivers and stone brand for sentries and SGs. Here's what the progression looks like. I've included the leveling trees in the POV place bin, and the forum guide also has images you can download. In the leveling walkthrough, I've noted down when and where to get gems, and also have a gem checklist for each act. It's too long to include in this video, so you'll need to visit the forum to read it. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye!